called Terror Town, which may sound like something out of a movie, but it's a reality in one South Side neighborhood. You're looking at surveillance video of people buying heroin right on the street. Police say undercover officers have been keeping a close watch on this operation for several months, and now 15 people are under arrest. The dangerous area that police are calling Terror Town encompasses the blocks between 75th and 79th streets, stretching from Yates to Colfax. And as CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli reports, officers aren't done trying to clean up those streets yet. That's them after they had just served an undercover officer and what they're doing with the money. Two accused drug dealers are caught on tape right after police say they sold heroin to an undercover officer. Sometimes the deals go down in vehicles. Other times they happen in what police call powwow lines, where drug dealers use phones to direct junkies to temporary drug stores. Here, heroin users are lined up at 79th and Essex. And they'll pull up. chapter 28 verse 68 bring it and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships bring you into Egypt again when they say Egypt it's not talking about the literal country Egypt because and because Egypt is only 300 miles away from Israel right it's talking about a spiritual it's talking about a spiritual Egypt okay. if you look into the word Egypt in Exodus 20 and 2 it. it's saying give me that the Exodus book of Exodus, 3, Exodus chapter 2 Exodus chapter 20 verse 2 I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So when you hear that word Egypt, when it's talking in, in Deuteronomy 28, 68, it's talking about slavery, the house of bondage. Read on. Huh? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. You should be sold unto your who? Your enemies for... Who do, who do we get sold to? White man. That's right. The white man, I mean, the Bible just called the white man our enemy. So the white man is the enemy. Read on. For bond men and bond women. The slaves. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. No man, when you look into that word buy you, it means no man shall save you. No man shall redeem you. Right? And that's what it's talking about. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness. Shall be smitten with madness and blindness. We're not going to understand what's going on here, right? We, we just gonna be out there just in Bible. Like you said, you've been on drugs, and you done lost your way, right? The Bible said that. The Bible said that that was gonna happen. Okay, so I'm here to tell you right now, the reason why all this is happening is because it's, it's, it's the curses in Deuteronomy 28, right? You are an Israelite according to the Bible. That's what we are. You're an Israelite. Okay? And saying, give me some more curses, man. Let's go see some facts. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Sis, let me ask you something. Do these, do, do these scriptures resonate with you? Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. They shall go into captivity, right? In slavery, did, I, um, did we not give birth to kids in the, in, in, the, in the 
so-called white man come and take our kids and sell them off, right? You've seen Roots before, right? Yeah. How they took Kinsey uh, away from uh, Kinsey and his wife. You've yeah. seen that, right? Yeah, that's a curse in the Bible, right? That's what happened. That's right. Give me another, uh, give me another pieces. Give me 50, uh, 54. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you is very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children. Sis, now do you not see these, men, these boys out here killing each other left and right? That's a mm -hmm. curse in the Bible, right? You see all this, you see baby mamas, a lot of single mamas around here, right? Yeah. It's a curse. All of these is cursed in the Bible. So that's the reason why you're going through what you're going through today. And, say, and it's, 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 it's through the spirit that you came here to see us, right? So I'm going to let you know that you're an Israelite. Give me, uh, give me Revelations 1 to 13. Sis, when you think about Jesus Christ, right, what color is he? What is he? He's a black man, right? That's right. All praise. You don't uh, bring that out in the Bible. Because a lot of people didn't know that, right? Me personally, I didn't know that years ago. Right? I, and say, when I found out, it was a revelation to me. Bring it up. Revelations 1 and 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. His head, and his, hair, his head and his hair were white like wool. Who has woolly hair? Mm -hmm. He got me. Not, well, I mean, hey, you a tear. You know We're not talking to the tear. We're talking to the real true children of Israel. We got we got the okay, so. woolly hair, right? Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine breath. As if as if they burned in a furnace. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 36. The Lord shall bring thee in thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and there thou shalt serve other gods, wood and stone. Wood and stone. Now it's saying you're gonna serve other gods, wood and stone. What's wood? What is what in the religion is made of wood? <laughs> Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. That's saying that the Most High don't dwell in temples, man. He's not there. So we got to get our people about that Christian church. But the Christian church ain't doing nothing but teaching lies all day. You know what I'm saying? All they, they don't keep no laws. They tell you that the law is done away with, but they still out here collecting them 10%. Right? We got to get our people about that Christian church because the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Thank you. 